Hey everyone, welcome to yet another interesting and informative video by Simply Learn. In this video, we will understand the control statements in C programming. Before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to our Simply Learn channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Now let's get started with the agenda for today's session. First, let us start by understanding what are control statements in C and then the types of control statements. Now let's begin with what are control statements in C. Control statements in C help the computer execute a certain logical statements and decide whether to enable the control of the flow through a certain set of statements or not. Also, it is used to direct the execution of statements under certain conditions. Let us consider an example of a stationery shop. When a girl wants to buy a ball pen, she says to the shopkeeper that she has the condition to purchase a pen of either of two colors, which are black or blue. So the shopkeeper first search for the black color pen, keeping the condition in his mind. If the black color pen is not available in the shop, then the shopkeeper will search blue color pen. And if the condition is satisfied, the girl will buy the pen, else she will not buy it. Similarly, the computer executes these statements when the given condition is satisfied. Great, now that we know what are control statements in C. Now let us understand the classification of control statements in C. First up, we have decision-making control statements. Then we have conditional statements. And finally, go to statements and loop control statements. First, let us understand all the decision-making control statements in depth. Decision-making control statements are simple if, if-else statements, nested if-else statements, and else if ladder. Let us go through them in detail. Now let's have a look at simple if statements. When you look at the flow chart, it is very clear that it first evaluates the if condition. And if the condition is true, the statements under if will be executed. Else, other statement outside the if will be executed. And the syntax of simple if is if condition followed by statement inside the curly brackets. Now let's execute the simple program using if statements. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. In this particular program based on simple if statement, it asks user to enter value for A and B. And it checks the condition A greater than B. And if A is greater than B, it prints the statement A is greater than B. In case A is not greater than B, it will not print anything. Now let's run it. Enter the numbers for A and B. Let's enter 10 and 5. And the output is 10 is greater than 5. Next, if in statements. In this, it evaluates the condition. And if the condition is true, the statements under if will be executed. Otherwise, the statements under else will be executed and followed by other statements. Syntax of if else statement is if condition statement 1, else statement 2. Let's understand the if else statement with the help of an example program. This particular program is based on if else statement. As I discussed before, it checks the if condition. And if the condition is satisfied, it will print the statement under if block. Otherwise, it will print the statements under else block. Let's run it. Enter the numbers for A and B. So as you all can see the output, the value of A is not greater than B. That's why the statement under else block is executed. Next we have nested if else statement. The nested if else statements consist of another if or else. Let us understand nested if else statements with the help of syntax. This consists of another if else statement inside the outer if block and another if else inside the outer else block. Let's understand by an example. This program is based on nested if else. 
This is an outer if block and it consists of another if and else. It first checks the condition of outer if and if the condition is not satisfied, then it checks the inner if condition. Even if that condition is not satisfied, it executes the statement under else block. In case even that condition is not satisfied, it comes outside the outer if block and executes the statements under outer if's else block. Let's run it. Enter the numbers for A and B. 10 and 10. As you can see, the value of A and B are same. It has print the statement under outer else block. Now let's enter different values for A and B and check the output. So, since A is not equal to B and A is greater than B, the output is printed successfully. Next, else if ladder. Else if ladder statements contain multiple else if. When either of the condition is true, the statements under that particular if will be executed. Otherwise, the statements under the else block will be executed. The syntax is if condition and followed by multiple else if. So now let's execute the program using an else if ladder. Enter the number for A. Let's enter 10. So it checks the condition A not equal to 10. Since the condition is not satisfied, it checks the next if condition. Since A is not greater than 15, it checks another if condition. And the condition A less than 20 is satisfied. And the output is 10 is less than 20. Now let's have a look at the control statements in C. As per the value of switch expression, the switch statement will allow multi-way branching. Depending on the expression, the control is transferred to that particular case label and execute the statements under it. If none of the cases are matched with the switch expression, then the default statement is executed. Syntax of switch statement is switch expression and inside the curly brackets, multiple case labels and at the end default statement. Let's execute program based on switch statement. So in this particular program, if the expression of switch matches with any of the case label, then it will execute the statements under it. Now let's run the program. Enter value of n. Let's enter 4. And the output is value is invalid. It's because since the value of n is not matched with any of the case label, it has print the default statement. Now let's have a look at go to statements. Go to statements are used to transfer the flow of control in a program. Go to statement is also known as jump control statements because it is used to jump to the specified part of the program. The syntax is go to, label name and semicolon. Label in go to statement is a name used to direct the branch to a specified point in the program. In the example, label name is odd. Next, we have loop control statements in C. In loop control statements, we have for loop, while loop, and do while loop. Let us go through them in detail. For loop is also known as pretest loop. From the following syntax, expression 1 is an initialization, expression 2 is the conditional expression, and expression 3 is an updation. The variables can be initialized in the for loop statement itself. You might get a clear idea of using for loop when you look at the flowchart. In the for loop, expression 1 is used to initialize the variable, expression 2 is evaluated and if the condition is true, then the body of for loop will be executed. And then the statements under expression 3 will be executed. This process is repeated as long as the for loop condition is true. Once the condition is false, control will return to the statements following the for loop and execute those statements. Let's see the example. In the for loop, the variable i is initialized to 0, 
and expression 2 is the condition that is i less than n and then the updation. Let's run it. As you can see the output, the value of i is printed until the condition is false. Up next we have a while loop. A while loop is also known as an entry loop. Because in a while loop, the condition is tested first, then the statements under body of the while loop will be executed. If the while loop condition is false for the first time itself, then the statements under the while loop will not be executed even once. Let's have a look at the syntax of a while loop. While condition and inside the curly brackets we have statements. Let's execute the program using while loop. So here it first checks the while condition and then prints the statement. Let's run it. Enter the number for A. Let's enter 5. So since the condition is satisfied, it has executed statements under the while loop. Now let us try to enter different value for A. Let's enter 20. Since the condition is not satisfied, that is 20 is not less than or equal to 10, it has not executed statements even once. Next, the do while loop. Do while is also known as an exit loop because in the do while loop, the statements will be executed first and then the condition is checked. If the condition of the while loop is true, then the body of the loop will be executed again and again until the condition is false. Once the condition is false, the control will transfer outside the do while loop and execute statements followed soon after the do while loop. The syntax is do and statement inside the curly brackets then while condition as you can see this particular example is based on a do while loop it prints the statement first and then checks the while condition so it prints the value of i until the condition is false as you all can see the output until the value of a is less than or equal to 5, the values are printed successfully. So with this, we have come to the end of this session on the control statements in C programming. I hope this session was informative and interesting. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.